Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those of you cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see, you know, what, what what's their silence telling you? So what is the reason behind your romantic um, interest, your romantic energy and their silence? Why are they giving the silent treatment? What is it that you need to know? Um, this is going to be a general reading guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video. Alright guys, let's go ahead and begin. Your person is definitely trying to find, um, figure out some things and I feel like they're using this time apart to really gather their thoughts, their emotions, their feelings here for you and for the future of this connection. You've got the King of Wands bottom of the deck. I feel like there is going to be like this no contact, no communication is going to bring about some action, okay? If there's a stagnation within the connection, there's going to be a growth that is being facilitated. If there is no contact, no communication, there's going to be a conversation that I feel like is going to be really insightful and very um, opening and very helpful here, especially with regards to you know, your connection and the flow of it here. I feel like your person is waiting for something. They could be waiting to, or maybe this is you here because you've come up as the Seven of Pentacles. Maybe you're waiting for them to reach out and communicate. Maybe you've, you know, sent off a text message and you're waiting for them to respond. Um, maybe you're waiting for like some sort of answer or decision or you've posed a question and you're waiting for them to come back with an answer. But it feels like you're waiting. And you know what they say, I watched pot never boils. Your person isn't ready to talk. Talk. they're not ready to communicate they're not ready to make up their mind just yet it feels like they're going through quite an array of emotions here and it just feels like right now they don't have all the answers here they are invested from what I can tell but I feel like for some reason the message that I get is you, you kind of have to factor into this the timing aspect and right now things are just not working for whatever reason okay or right now they're just not ready for a decision or you're just not ready to hear what it is that they have to say. So for a lot of you, I feel like there's a lesson here that hasn't been learned yet. So maybe this is why you need this no contact, no communication. So that can happen for either of you. So it can teach you that lesson here that needs to be learned, especially this time around. It may be time for the relationship to come to an end or at least a separation of some sort. But that's what needs to happen for now. Okay, and um, it feels like... This separation may not be permanent because you do have the sun that's appeared twice here and the sun that crests the horizon brings a renewal. So that's why I feel like it's not permanent for a lot of you, but it is important for, you know, each party's here to really focus on their individual selves and their happiness because it feels like, I feel it feels like both need, neither parties are fully happy, maybe not with one another, maybe not with the connection here. So that's why it's important to, you know, Happiness is absolutely important and so contingent here in a relationship. Um, and I feel like someone here needs to do some growing. Okay, someone here is a little bit stagnated and the other person is maturing. And I feel like that other person needs to catch up to where the, the, uh, this other person is. So one is growing and maturing, the other one feels a little bit stagnated. Here's the thing, this growth can't be fast-tracked, so it needs to happen in this own person's time here. Um, and know that, you know, this no contact, no communication is happening for a reason. I do feel like there will be a chance for renewal for this connection. You do have the Six of Cups, which is, I feel like, you know, this feels like a soulmate connection, or it just feels like there's such an emotional... Um, closeness or connection that you guys have developed that it, it, it does feel real okay it's not just imagined or made up in your mind it does feel like this is someone whom um, children are coming up uh, a lot here as well it feels like maybe this is someone whom you 
a childhood sweetheart, someone who reminds you of your childhood, someone whom you've known since your you know childhood days or young young adult days here, um, or this is someone who is it really plays well with your energy. It could be a soulmate, an energy soul partner here, someone whom it's like a very soul honoring type of a connection here, um, and. I feel like th this this is happening for a reason. Your person feels a little bit lost. They feel a little bit uncertain. They feel a little bit unsure. And it feels like there's some sort of tension, whether it exists within this relationship or whether it exists within the in, uh, individual energies. I feel like they're going through growth or they're supposed to be going through some changes, but it feels like they're resisting those changes. Like there may be some big things that are happening in their life that they're not willing to accept and they're not willing to deal with those things and in turn it's affecting their energy and it's affecting your relationship here you know they need to kind of really sit with themselves sit with their emotions here you know practice some shadow work and try to replace whatever it is that they feel they've lost maybe in i don't know previous relationships or within their uh, um within themselves i feel like your separation, you know, this separation that you have going on, this no contact, no communication, this is all about finding your happiness and them finding their happiness so that when you do come back together here, you're both so much more of a healthier and happier version, okay, for, for yourselves and for this relationship here. So it, it's a good thing. It's a blessing in disguise. I know it might not feel that way. And I know for some of you, you're just sitting by the phone and you're just waiting for a sign, any sign, or you're waiting for communication here. It's actually a good time to really nurture the relationship that you have with yourself. And you have to understand, because I feel like with your person, and perhaps maybe with your energy, someone feels like, you know, their happiness is their personal responsibility it's not yours just as your happiness is your personal responsibility and then it's not theirs and i feel like there's a lot of things that have happened maybe within their lives or yours or maybe within this connection that has um that's taught a lot of important lessons and especially you know lessons that have is trying to help them grow here So it's a good thing. Uh, well, I know it's painful. I know it's uncomfortable for a lot of you. But I feel like your connection has reached this point where it probably needed to happen. Or it was going to happen, you know, later down the track. So you would have, I'm sure you would have much rather that this happened sooner here. So that you can work on things sooner. Um, you've got the eight of pentacles i know you want to work on things and so do they i do feel like they're going to come back and try to you know build on this connection they're going to try and work on themselves here so this is why they need that time and space away from or why you need that time and space away from one another i do feel like either you're reaching out to them and they're going to respond to you okay respond to your communication or this is them reaching out to you and you're responding um, it'll get to a point where you're both really feeling each other's absence. You're both really missing each other, missing, you know, communicating with one another, missing having each other around. It'll get so much, it'll get so full on that and they'll feel it so strongly or you will too, that it's just going to prompt them. It's what's going to fuel this communication here. So I do feel like, you know, it, it will, you guys will reunite and I feel like it'll happen in a very deeply intimate kind of setting i feel like you both really will miss each other here and you'll want to keep things on track here um speaking of keeping things on track also try to keep an eye out for any repeating patterns within this relationship so especially from the first time around okay um, from anything that caused conflict tension or stress in the relationship because it's possible that the same issues that you've had early in the connection could become a major problem again later in the connection if you guys don't deal with it or if you guys don't address it. So, you know, you have to find a way to try and overcome them or work through them here. Yeah. And, you know, communicate openly and honestly with each other. Okay, try and create that safe space where you can talk to one another here yeah, really openly. The thing is, you guys both need to kind of get to a place where you're both coexisting harmoniously with each other. Like, you're happy within yourselves, but you're also happy within this connection so that this relationship can, you know, flourish beautifully here. Because there's potential, there's so much potential, but I feel like 
maybe someone's not ready or someone is being held back in some way, shape or form here. Alright guys, and these are your messages. Thanks as always for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel. Bye for now.